Hello. Yoo-hoo! You two, down there. You can hear me, can't you? I'll have you know I've prepared the most magnificent surprise for the two of you. Now then, please open your eyes. What? Where the heck am I? It sounded like someone was calling out to me, but how did I get here? Kakarot? What? Vegeta? Wait, was it you? Were you the one who called me here? Why the hell would I do that? I was called here by someone just as you were. Oh, okay. Well, then who brought us here? Oh, <laughs> that would be me. Welcome, Goku. Vegeta. Huh? Who are you? Me? I suppose you can call me Whis. In fact, I wish you to refer to me as such. <laughs> okay, so your name's Whis. Got it. Idiot. There's more important things in his name right now. Why? Why on earth did you call us here? And how the hell do you know who we are? I don't recall ever meeting anyone like you before. <laughs> That's perfectly sensible considering. Especially given the fact that this is the first time we've met one another, Vegeta. However, I didn't summon you here for mere small talk. Then why did you bring us here? It's simple, really. I'm fascinated by the considerable amount of power you two possess. And your desire to attain even more. Huh? Allow me to ask you two this, just so I'm entirely certain. You do indeed desire more power, do you not? <laughs> All any Saiyan lives for is to become stronger. Yeah, I want to get stronger and stronger. That way I can fight all sorts of powerful people. I see. How intriguing. If it's even greater power you seek, then allow me to help you. You're gonna help us get stronger? Wait a second. Are you saying you're gonna be the one training us? Indeed. That's the true purpose of my bringing you here. I am going to present the two of you with a variety of challenges, all of which I'd like you to complete. If you manage to do so, I will increase your power to levels far greater than you can imagine. Are you serious? I find this a little hard to believe. What exactly are you getting out of this arrangement? <laughs> I aim to neither gain nor lose anything from this. What's important to me is whether or not you desire more power. That is all. <laughs> it's like I said before. A Saiyan yearns for nothing more than to grow stronger. Very well. Shall we begin your training, then? Though, this could be considered something akin to cheating. Strictly speaking, us meeting here shouldn't occur in this manner. That said, try not to waste too much time thinking about it. Okay? I, uh, I have no clue what you're talking about, but okay. Fine by me. My strength is all I really care about anyway. <laughs> I expect great things from you two. Once you're of a certain level, you'll be able to keep Lord Beerus entertained. Lord... Beerus? Wait, wait, what did you just say? So they're here. You're awake. I just woke up. Beers. Be uh. 
Lord Beerus! Hello, Prince Vegeta. It's been some time, hasn't it? D why Why are you... Hmm? Oh, did Whis not tell you? I'm looking for someone to help me stave off my boredom. W what do you mean, stave off boredom? I haven't really felt challenged lately, so I thought I could do with some more physical activity. I normally have Whis help me, but I like to mix things up every once in a while. Uh, yeah, um, who's this guy? Ahem. This is Lord Beerus, the god of destruction. He is the most powerful being in this universe. God of destruction? You heard that right. I am indeed extremely powerful. Really? Well then, I definitely want to fight you. Show me what kind of power a god of destruction has. J you moron! Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> you're a bold one. Interesting. Not many have the courage to speak to me like that. I'll be taking a nap over there, so if you really do want to fight me, feel free to stop by. However, you won't be much of a challenge in your current state. I'd strongly recommend you let Whis train you first. I mean, I'd hate to have to destroy you so soon. You're that strong, Lord Beerus? From where you stand, yes. Just focus on your training. Luis, don't let me down. Well, I trust you two understand the full extent of the situation now, yes? Lord Beerus is expecting substantial improvements with respect to your power. So, once we're stronger, we're gonna fight him, right? I'm ready to get started right now! Damn it! I'm all for getting stronger, but I don't know how I feel about having to fight Beerus. <laughs> Given your enthusiasm, perhaps we should begin your training right away. That being said, do let me know when the two of you are ready to begin. All right! I'm ready for this! Huh. Impressive, Goku. <sighs> Things seem to be going well. Uh, Lord Beerus! Is something troubling you? What? Don't be absurd. I just wanted to see if he's managed to get any stronger. <laughs> I'm a lot stronger now, and it's all thanks to Whis and his training. Good. Then what do you say we put that strength to the test? Huh. I'm afraid he's not quite at a level with which you'd be satisfied, Lord Beerus, but very well. All right! Uh, well then, should we begin right away? I'm good whenever. All right, let's do this! I'm coming at you with everything I've got. <laughs> I'm eager to see what you can do. Now then, whenever you're ready. Bell. <sighs> this is... this is unbelievable. I didn't hold anything back. And you didn't even break a sweat. I guess this is the best you can do right now. No, I'm not done. I can still fight. <laughs> not in that condition, you can't. Besides, I've lost interest in fighting you as you are now. Please. Yes? I'm going to take a nap. Take care of the boy, would you? Understood, sir. Oh, this stinks! I can't believe he doesn't want to fight me anymore because he thinks I'm weak. That couldn't be further from the truth. Lord Beerus fought you just now to gauge your worth and potential as a fighter. I assure you, if he had deemed you unworthy, he would have most certainly destroyed you by now. W what Are you serious? Quite. The mere fact that you're still breathing means Lord Beerus sees potential in you. Do you really think so? I guess that makes me feel a little better. 
But that's all it is for now. Potential. Fear not. I shall continue to train you. You must tap into even more of your power. Great. Sounds good to me. I'm going to get way stronger and really surprise Lord Beerus. <laughs> that's the spirit. Allow me to reward that positive attitude by unlocking a special skill for you. You burned it. Kaioken, huh? I see. Well, believe it or not, I already know how to use Kaioken. Oh, <laughs> is that so? Well, I'd still like to reward you somehow for a battle well fought. Hmm, okay. I can give you this. Whoa, awesome! Thanks, Whis! <laughs> continue to push yourself as you have, and you'll continue to be rewarded handsomely. Really? Now that's what I'm talking about. Now then. Let's discuss your next training exercise. For your next challenge, you'll be fighting yours truly. This is your chance to apply everything you've learned thus far in a real fight. Now, I happen to be extraordinarily strong, so I expect you to utilize every ounce of your power. Oh, right. You know, you're something else, Whis. However, you must be tired from your fight with Lord Beerus. Feel free to rest a bit. Once you've regained your energy and are prepared to fight, please come speak to me. Got it. Will do. Thanks to you, Whis, I feel like I'm a whole lot stronger now. I can't believe it. The reason you feel stronger is because you are stronger. And to prove that you are, Lord Beerus! <laughs> Would it be safe to say you were too eager to view Goku's progress and couldn't sleep, my lord? Oh, stuff it, Whis. I'll have you know I got plenty of sleep. I actually just woke up. Oh, I see. Well, if you say so, then I'll believe you. <laughs> well, look at that. You finally appear strong enough to be worth my time now. You can tell, Lord Beerus? More or less. Let's see. Hmm. Do you think he's ready, Whis? Can I finally have some fun with him? Yes. I think you'll find Goku is more than ready. Excellent. Then let's have you become a Super Saiyan God, shall we? <laughs> Super Saiyan God? Oh, you haven't told him, have you, Whis? I have not. A Super Saiyan God is an immensely powerful being created for a short time when six Saiyans, pure of heart, combine their power. In order for you to become a Super Saiyan God, you alone will not be enough. You'll require five other Saiyans. Wait, five? Are there even that many Saiyans still around? You just leave that to me. I should be able to manage something. You, you can do that? But yeah, Super Saiyan God, huh? If you feel you're ready, we can begin preparations to have you undergo the transformation. Are you ready? Understood. Very well. Please wait as I make the necessary arrangements. So this is what it's like to be a Super Saiyan God. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time for this. 
Sorry for the wait, Lord Beerus, but at least you can fight me for real now. It's been quite some time since I've had a proper challenge. I may struggle to contain my power at first. My apologies if I accidentally kill you. Don't worry. I'm not going down so easy this time. Huh. <laughs> Someone's rather confident, aren't they? But can your power possibly match that confidence? You're finally a god now, so you'd better not disappoint me. Right. Let's do this, Lord Beerus! I hope this proves to be a good time, Goku. So, how does it feel to be a god? Incredible. I had no idea this kind of power was possible. It's almost overwhelming me. Just what I wanted to hear. I want you to use that power against me. Right. Whoa! This is It seems Lee was able to whip you into a reasonable shape. To be perfectly honest, I thought it would take much longer for the likes of you to reach this level. Color me somewhat impressed. You don't know how long it's been since I've fought someone who could keep up with me this much. You've also managed to get a hang of that Super Saiyan God power in a very short amount of time. <laughs> You're a fascinating one. Now that you've achieved the Super Saiyan God form, you've taken your first step into the realm of the gods. That power is not to be wielded with reckless abandon, but we trust you to be responsible with it. Isn't that right, Lord Beerus? Lord Beerus? Your power may be of more use to me in the future. I'm counting on you to be prepared when that time comes. Do not make me regret relying on you. I won't, Lord Beerus. <sighs> and with that, your training is complete. I do commend you on a job well done. I enjoyed my time with you. Oh, yeah. 
So, uh, if I ever wanted to train some more, would you train me, Whis? Oh? It's just, I'm... You helped me so much in getting stronger, I... I could really use your help again. <laughs> hmm... Well, I don't really see the harm in doing so. And you were able to entertain Lord Beerus, after all. Woohoo! Thanks, Whis! Hmm. I... What? We're done already? There's no need to worry. There is still more to do. You can think of everything up to this point as your warm up. Now begins your true training. I think it's safe to say you've finally mastered the basics required for any true improvement. D the basics? For your next challenge, you'll be fighting yours truly. A word of advice. Do feel free to fight me at full power. I... <laughs> Cocky bastard. This is not ego talking, it is simply a matter of fact. We can begin whenever you'd like. Are you ready? I will admit. You're doing very well, Vegeta! <laughs> is that so? Well, I've got a lot more power to gain. Super Saiyan. I was able to achieve that a long time ago. Oh, is that so? Then please accept this instead. What's this? <laughs> fine, I'll take it. <laughs> a fine reward, don't you think? Ready? I trust you'll bring this enthusiasm to the next exercise. What's this? <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> A fine reward, don't you think? Things seem to be going well. Good, good. Beerus! I mean, Lord Beerus! How's his progress, Wheeze? Has Vegeta reached a level I'd find acceptable? Let me think a moment. I'd say at his current level, he's among the top warriors of this universe. Good. If that's the case, I think it's time for him to become a Super Saiyan God. T Super Saiyan God? A Super Saiyan God is an immensely powerful being created for a short time, when six Saiyans pure of heart combine their power. In order for you to become a Super Saiyan God, you alone will not be enough. You'll require five other Saiyans. I've never heard of such a thing. And five Saiyans, you say? Where would I even find that many? Come now. You don't need to worry about the particulars. I should be more than able to manage something. But uh, Enough complaining! Just let Whis do what he needs to do! Yes, understood. If you feel you're ready, we can begin preparations to have you undergo the transformation. Are you ready? like to be a Super Saiyan God! Finally, you took long enough. D sorry Lord Beerus. Now, now, Lord Beerus. Vegeta has achieved the transformation. Relish the fact that he can finally give you a proper fight. Hmm, well, you're not wrong there. Vegeta, are you finally ready to fight? Guess I don't have much of a choice. I have to fight him now. Perhaps I should be the one asking if you're ready, Beerus. 
This power should be more than you can handle. <laughs> it's been quite some time since I've had a proper challenge. I may struggle to control my power at first. My apologies if I accidentally kill you. I'm not about to let that happen! Well, you'd better make this fun for me. This is the power of a Super Saiyan God! It's unbelievable! This is standard fare for a God. Feels good, doesn't it? Good, good. Try to keep this up. Now, let's see if you can make good use of that power. Uh. <laughs> Big Bang, attack! I suppose you've passed for now, though only barely. Your technique is a little sloppy in places, but at least you show some promise. Promise? That sounds like a pass to me. Congratulations, Vegeta! You must be pleased. I... pass? That has to count for something, doesn't it? Needless to say, if you had not managed to properly control your godly power, Lord Beerus would have destroyed you. What? Wait, but he said I was just to stave off his boredom! Having the power of a Super Saiyan God means absolutely nothing if it doesn't stave off my boredom. Fortunately, you managed to succeed. I suppose I can let you live to entertain me another day. What? Now that you've achieved the Super Saiyan God form, you've taken your first step into the realm of the gods. Let me make one thing clear. Do not let that power go to waste. If I find out you're misusing it, I will destroy you. Understand? Yes. Your power may be of more use to me in the future. I'm counting on you to be prepared if and when that time comes. <laughs> Excellent work, Vegeta. Well done. You've completed your training. Finally. I know I'm stronger than before, but this power's almost not worth the stress. You don't seem like you're in the mood to celebrate. May I say something? What is it? If you wish to train with me again, all you have to do is ask. 
You went to a lot of trouble to please Lord Beerus, so please consider it my way of thanking you. Yes, I've got it. You brought this upon yourself, Frieza. Though I have to admit, I didn't see it ending quite like this. Cuz you saying? Uh... I'm going to make my way back to Earth. You can stay here and suffer the same fate as this planet. I beg you. Uh, please have mercy. Please have mercy. I beg you. How can you beg for mercy? How many people begged you for mercy uh, before you slaughtered please. them? How many? Uh, 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 I beg you. <laughs> I've given you just a little bit of my energy. That's all you get. You're on your own. <laughs> I am the greatest being in the universe. And that is why... You... You must... You must die by my hand! You fool! Curse him! Curse that wretched Saiyan! The mortal enemies known as Frieza and Goku had once fought to the death on the planet Namek. During their epic showdown, Goku's anger triggered something. It awakened the Super Saiyan transformation, which helped him defeat the terrible tyrant, Frieza. With Goku having defeated Frieza, it was believed the two fighters would never again cross one another's paths. But that was not the case. Having been brought back to life with the use of Earth's Dragon Balls, Frieza lived once again. He now sought vengeance against the Saiyan who'd humiliated him. Determined to exact his revenge, Frieza gathered his forces, also brought back using the Dragon Balls, and set out to accomplish his new mission. In preparation for the battle, Frieza subjected himself to intense training and attained immense power. Mere moments before the Frieza force were to arrive on Earth. <laughs> the time for vengeance has finally arrived. Now then, let's pay Goku's beloved Earth a visit, shall we? Goku and Vegeta continue their own intense training under the watchful eyes of Whis on Beerus' planet. The two warriors are eager to push the Super Saiyan God form to even greater heights. I believe that will do for today. I must say, you two have made considerable progress with respect to movement, but your speed still needs work. Still needs work? You're still relying far too much on your head. This habit is especially strong with you, Vegeta. <laughs> you really do like to overthink everything, Vegeta. Shut up! You're only thinking less because you're an idiot! Perhaps you've noticed, but you always manage to be one step behind Goku. Do you know why that is? You're far too tense, making it more difficult for you to fight at your full potential. You need to relax more, like Goku. You just had to bring that up, didn't you? Goku, you, on the other hand, are overconfident. Let your focus waver and you're doomed to fail. What? We'll work on conquering these shortcomings of yours as we continue your training. All right, just gotta focus. Focus, focus, focus. Well, I think that's enough rest for now, wouldn't you agree? Shall we continue your training? Yeah! As the two of you have unique needs in your training, what do you say we do this one at a time? You got it! You know, I actually prefer doing it this way. <laughs> you won't get any complaints from me! Oh my, 
You two really don't get along, do you? I can't imagine why that is. Now then, let's start things off with you, Goku. Woohoo! Too bad for you, Vegeta! <laughs> Makes no difference. Go ahead, I'm gonna surpass you anyway. This is awesome! I'm gonna get loads stronger! Goku and Vegeta, more determined than ever to push themselves even further, continued their training with Whis. In the end, the two Saiyans had managed to successfully achieve a wonderful and new power. You're both here! Excellent. Yep, let's get right into it while it's all still fresh in my mind. The time has come to find out if you've actually attained a power that goes beyond a god, Kakarot. <laughs> I very much look forward to seeing the fruits of your labor, gentlemen. Form takes a lot out of you, even more than Super Saiyan God. It's probably because we've become Super Saiyans while in our godlike state. Still, this power is incredible. Hmm. Look at that. Your efforts have finally paid off. Whew. Though, it looks like we can't stay in this form for very long. Which means we haven't completely mastered it yet. You two have really surprised me. I must admit, I wasn't expecting you to reach this level in such a short period of time. You know, I'm pretty surprised too, if I'm honest. I had no idea I could go beyond Super Saiyan God. <laughs> You're not the only one who pulled it off. Seems your days at the top might be numbered. Indeed. You two have both managed to become Super Saiyans with the power of Super Saiyan Gods! Hmm, that's a rather cumbersome way of putting it. Let's see, your hair becomes blue while in this form, so perhaps Super Saiyan Blue would be more suitable. Super Saiyan Blue, huh? That'll be easy to remember. Now that you've achieved this power, I think all that remains is to put said power to the test. I want you to engage me in battle using all of your power. Up for it? This should help you come to terms with your new form. All right, let's do this! <laughs> Magnificent! Well now, let's begin. This is certainly not the time to squabble. You're adapting better than I expected. Great! I think I'm getting the hang of this. We are just stop. Stop. Lend me your energy! Stop. This is perfect! You've so much to have completely different people! I still got a lot more in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get cocky, Kakarot. I'm superior here. Here goes! Yeah. I can't believe it. What do you say we conclude the training session here? You two are phenomenal. It seems the Super Saiyan Blue form is becoming second nature to the pair of you. Should the two of you learn to work together, I dare say you could possibly go toe-to-toe -to -toe with even the likes of Lord Beerus. Whoa, really? Well, to tell you the truth, 
I'd much rather fight him by myself. <laughs> I'm the one taking Lord Beerus down, and I'll do it without your help. Oh, bother. This intense rivalry between you two is proving most troublesome. So, Whis, could you maybe train me some more? I really want to master this Super Saiyan Blue power. <laughs> it would be my pleasure. What? I'm not going to let you hog all of Whis' time. I'm training too! Uh, at least you two see eye to eye on something. Very well. Let's press onward, shall we? Meanwhile, on Earth, Gohan's calm, carefree life was interrupted when he was summoned by Piccolo to engage in some grueling training. <sighs> All right, take a breather. Whew. I haven't done anything this intense in a long time. You're a lot sloppier than before. Seems like these peaceful times have made you soft. Yeah, sorry about that. It's just, my mom keeps giving me a hard time about my studies. <laughs> huh. I don't care about your studies. You can't neglect your training. That's the one thing you should never skimp on. Uh, yeah, you're right. I'll try to work some into my schedule when I can. We're getting right back into it after this break, and it won't be nearly as easy as... Huh? 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 What was that? S some sinister energy is making its way here. It... it can't be him, can it? Yeah, I know this energy all too well. It's... The large source of energy Gohan and Piccolo sensed belonged to none other than Frieza and his men. That's right, Frieza had finally made his arrival to the planet Earth. I've waited far too long for this moment. That said, it seems I have a little time to kill before Goku makes his arrival. Perhaps I should have some fun while I wait. <laughs> Unbeknownst to Gohan and Piccolo, they weren't the only ones who sensed the arrival of Frieza and his menacing troops. Krillin, Tien, and the others, sensing the sudden appearance of an evil energy, made their way to Gohan and Piccolo's location. A lot of energy levels are cropping up all over the place. They're on the move. Yeah, we better hurry after them. Yeah, there's a lot of them. We'll have to split up and handle each group separately. Got it. Let's go. They're more powerful than we originally thought. Stay sharp. Right. Yeah. And so, the fight with the Frieza Force had officially begun. <sighs> They're moving all over the place. Time to put a stop to this. All of these goons are packing some serious power. We don't reduce their numbers, they could overwhelm us. That's it. I'm not about to let freaks this powerful just run wild. Huh? Eh? Hmm.
That'll do. Frieza's pretty far away. And I'm sensing a lot of other strong energies closer by. I recognize these energy sources. Never thought I'd have to fight those guys again. All right, better hurry. What's Frieza doing here on Earth? Huh? So, the energy I sensed before belong to the Ginyu Force after all. Huh? Hmm? Hey!
gotta be over real quick. Gohan and his team arrived at the source of the very powerful energy. At nearly the same exact time, Piccolo and his team appeared and met up with Gohan's people. Before the warriors was a spaceship, one that was all too familiar to all of them. That's Frieza's spaceship. I'm guessing the guys we fought earlier came here in that. Seems like you also had to deal with Frieza's men. Yeah. They were a lot stronger than the last time we fought them. I'm sensing some seriously strong energy from that ship. It's incredible. <laughs> Once again, you have done remarkably well in besting Ginyu and his men. Seems it's difficult to find good minions in this universe. I must commend you on a job well done. And what's more is that you've come to greet me. I'm fairly impressed. Frieza! Well, if it isn't the Namekian who attempted to fight me. Oh, and you would be Goku's son, would you not? Now, where might Goku be? My dad's off somewhere far away training. He's not here. How unfortunate. 
I was hoping to kill him and blast this backwater planet into a million pieces. What the hell are you doing here? What do you even want? <laughs> Is it not painfully obvious? Must I spell it out for you? Revenge. Nothing more, nothing less. Goku must suffer for what he's done to me. I had a feeling it was something like that. The utter humiliation that Saiyan caused me. I will not allow his actions to go unpunished. Unfortunately, he doesn't seem to be here. No matter. Knowing him as well as I do, he'll eventually show his face. However, I am not a patient man. I don't intend to just sit here and wait for him. Perhaps I'll warm up by torturing you first. <clears throat> this, this power he's hiding... ...frees us far stronger than he was the last time we fought him. Okay, I think that's a good stopping point. Whew. This Super Saiyan Blue transformation is getting a lot easier to manage. I intend to perfect this form, and once I do, you'll be the one in my shadow, Kakarot. There's no way I'm letting that happen. <laughs> Simply marvelous. You two have improved leaps and bounds. It's most impressive. Continue at this pace and... Uh... Oh, it seems I have a call from Earth. Please, excuse me for a moment. Why, hello, Bulma. Have you managed to concoct yet another tasty... What's that? Did he say Bulma? I see. I'll be sure to pass your message on to Goku and Vegeta. Sending my love and all that. Take care. Something happened on Earth? Well, it appears Frieza is alive and has invaded Earth with his troublesome little army. What? Frieza's alive? Huh? Why in the world would Frieza choose to do this right now? Beats me. I haven't the foggiest. If I had to venture a guess, I'd say he's there to get revenge on you, Goku. Ah, Lord Beerus! Did you enjoy your nap? It was fine, but I would have slept even better if I hadn't gone to bed on an empty stomach. Even if he is seeking some sort of revenge, Trunks and Goten should be more than enough to put someone of Frieza's power level in their place. Oh, I'm afraid that doesn't appear to be the case. What do you mean? I'm not privy to the specifics, but Bulma informed me that the others seemed rather concerned when they ventured to the battlefield. Earth may be in more trouble than you realize. Maybe he's undergone some sort of training in preparation for his grudge match against you, Goku. I'm not really sure what's going on, but we'd better not waste any more time and head back to Earth fast. Yes, indeed. Shall I transport you straight there? Wow, Frieza, huh? Can't believe I actually get to fight him again. All right, we're ready, Whis. Let's get back to Earth. Good. Now then, I'd hold on tight if I were you. Not so fast. I'll be going to Earth, too. Oh, you'd like to join us, Lord Beerus? Wait, are you gonna help us fight Frieza, Beerus? Of course not. Don't be ridiculous. I'm a god of destruction, remember? It's not in my interest to destroy anything there. I'm only joining you to get my hands on some more of your planet's delicious food. Did you not hear me when I said I was hungry? Oh, so that's why! Besides, I can't imagine you'd want me to fight Frieza anyway, would you? I know you prefer fighting alone. <laughs> hey! Enough of all this talking! If we don't get back to Earth immediately, then Bulma might... I mean... Trunks and the others might beat Frieza before we have a chance to fight him. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> well then, off we go. Hopefully Earth is still there when we arrive. Hey, don't talk like that, Whis. And here we are! Yeah, 
This energy has definitely frees us. Yeah, and it's really strong energy, too. You've wasted enough time. Let's go! Yeah, you're right. Okay, we're heading out. Thanks a bunch for everything, Weiss and Lord Beerus. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Good luck. All right, Weiss. Let's go get some Earth food. My, someone's impatient. I can still sense Gohan's energy, but it's pretty weak. Then let's hurry, damn it! Of this. What's this? <laughs> Please don't tell me this is the best you can do. This is hardly the warm-up I was hoping for. I'm afraid this pre-revenge entertainment is starting to bore me. If only Goku had arrived sooner. Perhaps he's become painfully aware of my increased strength and power. Maybe he ran away in fear. No way! My dad would never do anything like that! You're a fool if you think Goku would run away! Hmm. I really expected Goku to show. And what's worse is that you lot failed to entertain me. Such a shame. You will die. Here and now. No! Hold Whew! Looks like we got here just in time. Dad, you're here. You made it. Goku, Vegeta, you sure took your time. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Get out of my way. Now. You shouldn't have come here. Looks like I'll have to put you in your proper place, Frieza. <laughs> so you've arrived at last. I've been waiting a long time, Goku. I would admit I wasn't expecting Vegeta to be with you. Tell me. What the hell are you doing on this planet? You mean you really don't know? I'm here for revenge, of course. Particularly against you, Goku. Wait a second, Frieza. Don't tell me you're still sore about what happened on Namek. Sore? I'd never experienced defeat until I crossed paths with you. The embarrassment stayed with me from the moment I was killed and sent to Earth's hell and every second since my resurrection. I've come to settle the score and show you that I am the superior being. I even trained, which is something I had never done before. Glad to hear I had such an effect on you. If you weren't rotten to the core, you'd sure make a great rival. What a shame. It's that sort of drivel that makes me loathe you with every fiber of my being. Sorry, Vegeta. Looks like me and Frieza are both ready to go at it. You don't mind letting me go first in this match, do you? <laughs> Fine. I warn you, if I catch you screwing around, I'm jumping in. Thanks, Vegeta. Okay, Frieza. I know you've got a grudge against me, but I'm not gonna let you destroy Earth. I don't care about your little planet. It means absolutely nothing to me. I'll be satisfied as long as I have my rightful revenge. Now then, tremble in fear before my amazing new power! Aren't you going to transform into a Super Saiyan? I don't think I need to just yet. Uh -oh. You seem rather confident in yourself. Yeah, I guess. Lend me your energy! <laughs> your suffering if I finished you all so soon. Ah! <laughs> 
Your smugness makes my skin crawl. you for the self-improvement type, but I never imagined you'd be this good. Well, you weren't the only one who trained. I've been keeping up my own regimen. I see. It seems you've attained a great deal of strength since we last fought. I have, and you're a lot stronger too. It's like I'm fighting a completely different person. Fortunately for me, I've done a great deal of training. You're hiding something, aren't you? Well deduced for a simpleton. I've managed to achieve an even greater power in preparation for this moment. Well, what are you waiting for? Stop talking and start showing! <laughs> Very well, then. Allow me to show you just how much more evolved I have become! Energy's through the roof! <laughs> I've made my new form gold, so it's clear who's sitting atop the pecking order. And to simplify things even further, let's call this Golden Freezer. Shall we? You're no doubt aware that my change goes far deeper than just my shimmering exterior, yes? I am. And even though I'm excited, I have to admit I'm also kind of nervous. I don't know what to expect now. Well now, it seems Freezer's managed to increase his power by quite a bit. His lust for revenge has afforded him a great deal of motivation. If I didn't know any better, I'd say Goku may have finally met his match. While it is true Frieza's increase in power is remarkable, <laughs> I wouldn't count Goku out of this just yet. All right. Now it's my turn to show you what I can do. I'm afraid not. What? Time's up. Beat it, Kakarot. Aw, oh, come on, Vegeta. Things were just starting to get interesting. You only have yourself to blame. You should have stopped playing around ages ago. Now move aside. Seriously? Oh, come on. What's this? Vegeta, you wish to fight me? If you think you can defeat me, you're more delusional than ever! <laughs> What is this? No, not you too! That's right. You didn't know, did you? Yes, it's true. I too can become a Super Saiyan, a warrior of legend. And now, on top of that, I have the power of a god! Well? Are you ready to continue, or do you need a moment? Come on, let's see if the almighty Lord Frieza has what it takes to defeat me. Hmm. I'll admit I'm surprised by your transformation, but this changes nothing! I am still far beyond you! 
Allow me to show you the true power of Frieza, the Emperor of the Universe! Kiss your ass goodbye, Frieza. No. 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 I'm afraid you're finished, Frieza. Go back to hell. Damn funny. I'm not the one who's through here. You and your planet are finished! What? The Earth! Well, Frieza did something quite fascinating there. In a last-ditch effort, he took out the whole planet. So, so what happened to everyone? And where's Frieza? I'm afraid all the inhabitants of Earth have perished. Frieza, on the other hand, is most likely still alive. What? But how? He's able to survive in the vacuum of space. <laughs> how surprisingly clever of him. No, no way! So, now that Earth's gone, that means the Dragon Balls are gone too! We can't wish everyone back. 
That sounds about right. Oh, man, this sucks! I should have finished him off when I had the chance. Indeed. Are you ready to make this right, then? Huh? This turn of events happened because of your own naivety. Rather than making short work of Frieza, you had too much fun with the fight and got careless. I, I know. So try not to mess things up this time. Destroy Frieza and send him back to hell. This time? What are you talking about? I possess the ability to turn back time, albeit only a brief amount. Three minutes is the most I can manage. You can turn back time? That's what I'm saying. Once I do so, you will be returned to just moments before the Earth was destroyed. Oh! Then that means I can take out Frieza! Exactly. Finish him off quickly, and your planet will be spared. This is great! I had no idea this was even an option! This is a one-time deal. The only reason I'm allowing this is because I don't want to miss out on Earth's delicacies. As I said before, do not mess this up. I won't. We'll see. I'm going to rewind time now. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do this! All right, Goku. I've turned back time. Thanks. I owe you guys. Okay, time to make this right. Huh. If I don't hurry, I'm not gonna make it. Yeah. Earth's gone if I don't move fast. Hope I make it. Yeah. Kiss your ass goodbye, Frieza. No. 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 I'm afraid you're finished, Frieza. Go back to hell. so damn funny I'm not the one who's through here you and your planet are finished Freezer! what <laughs> why you All right, Frieza. Looks like I'm gonna have to finish you off myself after all. I'm not letting you pull any more of your tricks! But how... how could he possibly know what I was planning? No! No! No, 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 no! You have gotten in my way for the last time, Goku! This will not stand! I refuse to share a universe with the likes of you! There's no doubt about it. You're pure evil! <laughs> You're just now realizing that! I do. 
Damn you, Kakarot! Why'd you do that? Sorry about that, Vegeta. Trust me, I've got a good reason. I don't give a damn what your reason is. My turn with Frieza wasn't over! Dad, what in the world happened? <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Well, now this is embarrassing. A god of destruction saving a world instead of destroying it. Oh, don't be like that, Lord Beerus. At least we still have access to Earth's mouth-watering food. And just so you know, those two seem to have mastered that new power of theirs. I dare say they may have what it takes to give you a good fight. Provided they drop their bravado and actually attempt to work together, it could happen. <laughs> I doubt that. He turned back time. Kind of hard to believe. Still, if anyone can pull off a technique like that, it'd be Whis. You know, I've been doing some thinking. We managed to win this time, but we probably could have finished off Frieza super quick if we had fought together from the very beginning. I'd sooner die than work alongside you. I don't need your help or anyone else's. <laughs> Glad to hear that, Vegeta. I'd much rather fight alone, too, if I'm completely honest. <laughs> <laughs> Those two... They are quite the handful, aren't they? Let's go, Whis. Well, at least they finally agree on something. <laughs> and so, Frieza's villainous plan to invade Earth and exact revenge against Goku was foiled yet again. The world was once again at peace. However, Goku and Vegeta would not rest, but instead went back to continue their training. To become stronger and push themselves to even greater levels. The question remains, was this the last time Goku and Frieza would cross paths? Only time will tell.